hi guys welcome back to this channel how are you guys doing today you're very much welcome so i want to show you how to get rid of worms in your flower yes this things happen guys like this flower you can see now you see how it takes it has some weevils some worms so i have to show you how i clean it to this very smooth and spotless flower okay so i just need to show you in case you find your fly in this form don't throw it away but if you want don't mind you might throw it away so you need a chiffon material guys a very Mom. clean chiffon materials you don't need, need this Mom, uh, sieve because this sieve is not that tightly closed and some little tiny tiny weevils can escape from it but with that chiffon nothing will escape you will get everything totally cleaned then you need a bowl yeah i'm using this large bowl because i have a large quantity of flour that i want to sieve so i just kind of tie it over the bowl and start sieving this requires um, a lot of patience guys like i mentioned if maybe you find this weevils and you feel like throwing the flour away it depends on you it's your choice but if you're kind of wondering how you're going to get the weevils out, you just need to sieve it. Just the way I'm using this chiffon material to do it. So as you can see, it's a kind of, you know, gently sieving the flour. Flour is actually in a powdered form so it can pass through uh, this material. But if you had to use a hollow sieve, it won't it kind of give you the real cleaning that you want. So with this sieve, guys, with this material, I kind of got everything out. The tiniest one in it. Everything was totally out, as you can see. So what you do once you're done, you kind of take the weevils out you see it i don't know trash them out and put another batch i was actually almost done with this process then i thought of it that this might actually help someone out there to you know know how to get rid of those things from their flour so i'm adding the last batch is a kind of almost done and so you don't need it too very much just take it little by little i think it took me about okay 30 minutes or less so it was actually a little bit much so sometimes you find something like this maybe you did not um, tightly cover the container or whatever you store the flour in and you find these um, organisms in them and you don't want to throw it away so you do it like this to help you save some coins you know so i added a little more to that one i have i just found this one somewhere i just added it to get it saved at the same time So if, as you can see, the weevils are there walking around. <laughs> you don't want these things in your meals, guys. So you kind of shake, heat, bounce to get the flour dropping. I'm still going to show you how the flour looked at the end of the day. It looks so smooth. Okay, here is it. I'm untying it. This is how I tie it so that it doesn't, you know, pull out. So look at the flower. You see how clean it is. Very clean. Everything was totally out. So, so very clean. Hey. 
and I was so very much happy that I was able to, oh, thank you, you know, yeah. rescue mm. this flower because I was about trashing it, and That's I just thought of, mm. okay, let's do it this way and see how it goes. And it came out so very well. So these are the ones I sieved out of it. You see, the weevils are a bit quite much. See them walking around. So I hope this video a kind of um, formed someone out there. It kind of helps someone out there to see how to manage their flower. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you again. Bye.